Today, the South Carolina Aquarium Sea Turtle Care Center is dealing with an unusual emergency. A ship dredging the harbor has injured two Kemp's Ridley turtles. One turtle in particular, Glenn, does have some pretty severe uh, lung issues, uh, some, some joint uh, and bone deterioration, and, and that animal really has a long way to go. Kemp's Ridley is the most endangered sea turtle species on the planet, with only about 1,000 animals left. Glenn is one of many victims of recent dredging activity off the coast of South Carolina. Dredging efforts to deepen shipping channels offshore are inadvertently sucking up foraging sea turtles in the process. Fortunately, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources was able to rescue Glenn and bring him here to the turtle hospital at the South Carolina Aquarium. Veterinarian Dr. Shane Boylan and his assistant Whitney Daniel examine his injuries. So basically, if you can just imagine being sucked against a high pressure fan for a while and you just the pressure of the water pushing it and just basically crush the animal, caused the lung to pop and just a tremendous amount of hemorrhage and trauma inside. Despite the severity of the injury, Dr. Boylan will do all he can to help a sea turtle no matter how involved the course of treatment may be. Glenn is in good hands. So we got a CAT scan. We found that the left lung actually has got a giant bulla, uh, which means that the lung is actually basically uh, ruptured into a dead space where there's no ability to do any respiration. An air pocket called a bulla has filled the cavity created by the ruptured left lung. Glenn will need surgery. He's only breathing with half his lung capacity, which restricts his ability to dive deep for food in the wild. Dr. Boylan must try to reduce the size of the air pocket so that Glenn's lungs can fully expand. Glenn is put under anesthesia, so he won't feel a thing. Dr. Boylan sucks the air out of the bulla in hopes that it will collapse. He'll need to take an x-ray to see if it worked. Surgery. And there we are right now. The team is optimistic. The bulla in the left lung is much smaller. But a short while later, another x ray confirms that Glenn's bulla has refilled with air. They take him for a CT scan off site to get a better look at what's happening. We went in surgically, we drained the bulla. It was perfect, the lungs looked great, and then the lungs leaked, the bulla refilled, so we want to get a, a recheck today. The CT scan will generate a perfect cross-section of Glenn's lungs. Let's do a few more takes of it. He likes to watch. All right, so we're gonna see what this bulla looks like, huh? When your patient isn't sedated, it's hard to get a good scan. Kemp's Ridleys are normally mellow and don't need to be sedated. But Glenn is antsy today. Glenn is not having this.
but the staff here has been working with turtles long enough to get a good scan. Yeah, there's still a little bit of jade right in there. there. Yeah. Back at the hospital, they review the results. It's better than expected. The good news is, is we've definitely reduced the bullet by, it looks like, just subjectively 50%, uh, maybe a little bit more. And so we might be able to get this animal out. We might be able to release it. With only 1,000 Kemp's Ridleys remaining, every individual that returns to the wild can impact the species. We want this thing to recover strong enough that when I put it back in the water, I have no fear about it living on its own. For now, Glenn's breathing is less labored, but he's still not ready for release. That won't happen until the bulla is completely gone. Only time will tell if his lungs will heal and he can return to the wild. <laughs>